Raquel and I'm back on Recovery to Wellness and it's currently August 9th, 2022. It's August already, I can't believe that. I don't know, I feel like the quality of this is like more enhanced or better somehow and I don't, the only thing I really did was like update my, to like Windows 11 I think it was, like a few days ago. So I just feel like the quality is like really crisp and I don't know if because I'm on my new webcam, so I don't know if like things changed or maybe just the lighting is also really good. I'm not sure, but it looks nice, so we're gonna roll with it. Anywho, so I wanted to do like a kind of like recovery check-in life update kind of video, and we're gonna like jump into it. I don't have any script. I never have a script. I should probably write a script, honestly, but um, I don't. So <laughs> um, let me find something to fidget with. I think I'll fidget with this. So, speaking of this, I, I got this new bookmark, and I think I'm going to do, and let me know if you're interested in me doing like a kind of like a smash up haul, because I've been buying some stuff lately, and I just haven't like fully filmed like a haul for it. However, if you would be interested in me doing like kind of like a smash up, like this is a bunch of stuff that I've been buying in the last month or so, let me know in the comments, and I can do that for you. So I got this like, it's like a ruler in the back and then just a regular bookmark with Rumi. Does it say, does it say, yes, it says Rumi right there. So it's quite fancy. So I've been using this guy somewhat and I can talk about that in a separate video. I got it up um, Barnes and Noble, so. And it's just this little star. Yeah. Anywho, I was trying to decide what if I wanted to be bold today or if I wanted to be subtle. So I decided to go subtle. So that is something that also happened. Life in general. So I feel like it's been a while since I really filmed a video. Oh my gosh. That's just a pop up. Sorry. Um, it's been a while since I like fully filmed a video and I've been wanting to film and like kind of getting in the mode to film, but then other things have happened or whatever. I have quite a lot of shorts that I filmed so far, but I haven't fully edited them. And I come, uh, I edited a couple and then put them up, um, but they didn't get as much traction as like the first short that I did, so I don't really know why. Other than like I uploaded it, I think at like 4 in the afternoon instead of 9 in the evening. I don't, I don't know if that makes any difference, but... So, I have more shorts to edit. The, one of the things I'm going to try to do today, I'm going to draw I'm going to sketch in my sketchbook and I'm going to draw something and I have a few ideas of things to draw um, which will have like no context whatsoever and it will just be a drawing and then I'll, I'll like film myself sketching it and then I'll film myself painting or watercoloring it and we'll do that and that'll be fun. I have to still work on reviewing this book. I have to still do that. I'm on page 68 but I still have that many flags to go through. And I also want to do the uh, video book review for it as well, as soon as I can. This is the little notebook I'm using to... I got some of the old page flags there, and then I have um, the basic outline of what my uh, blog post review of it is like, and then I started to do some of the notes on it. I haven't typed all this stuff out, but I haven't done it yet, so... Just all of that and some of it was a rant and everything so have that all set um well not all set i have to still finish it but hoping to work on that today i finally found my bullet journal um i lost it <laughs> for a while like a couple months or so and then i found it again it, it was actually where i thought i put it but i also couldn't remember what the, the sign of it looked like so when i would see it in the in the um like cart that i have it in um, I couldn't, I didn't re really recognize, oh yeah, that's my bullet journal, but I found it, and I actually did some spreads, so that's pretty cool. I did that Sunday, I think. This is a new book that I got at Barnes & Noble. I'm reading this. I've been not doing page flags either, so challenging myself, working on that. I have, oh, I didn't even fill out my, my spread for today, my intentions, because if you don't know... Um, I have filmed a couple of shorts about what some of my in new intentions are going forwards, of how to make use of my time in a more 
uh, productive fashion. I have to go through last week's side, and I have a couple videos where I film, well, a couple shorts that I filmed this stuff in. Um, but I forgot to put it in stuff for today, but I will definitely do that soon. So I have um, some like video stuff on this stuff and more to do. I started to do my intentions vision board thing. I have to still add a bunch of stuff to it. I'm going to do a vision statement, like a two sentence vision statement here, and then fill out this side to figure out how to adjust when, because I didn't really think of it until like it really happened, but when like, how do I be more flexible with my intentions if my intentions start to go back into like wasting time a lot or you know sort of going on like Netflix series of watching for hours at a time or YouTube rabbit holes or whatever so how do I adjust to that and, and what can I use to get back on track and just how to reframe it and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna put some bullet points down there for that vision statement here and then probably some of the things that I want to focus on I think up here and I have a quote it says don't wait the time will never be just right by Napoleon Hill I kind of fucked up on the on how to spell the name but I mean, it's whatever so I have that so I'm working on this I started this on Sunday as well so I've been doing that I also picked out some of my other like I, I got these from my previous planner my planner from what is it 2021 and 2022 so I have this one where I'm gonna do all my vision statements I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them this one I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for yet but I, don't, I might do something creative on it and then this one is gonna be all about the great outdoors I started to do this in my planner my last planner but then I never actually quite finished it but this will be all about the great outdoors and like goals I have for that like videos and photography I also plan to be doing more um, art kind of photography videos like in the coming future like I want to do some of the different photo shoots I've done and from either like long long time ago or like even more recent and everything as well and then put that together as like a video and then have that out for you guys in case you're interested in that um, you want to see some of my more artsy stuff and things to that effect I have out a bunch of my stickers sticker sheets and everything so I've been using those in like the planner um, uh, my planner and my bullet journal, my this journal and all of that. Um, I got my... I actually did some room care, so my room is looking a bit better. The, the desk is actually a desk again, which is amazing. Who knows how long that'll last, but also like the, um, the chair down there is a chair again. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna try to film like and like sit in a chair a bit and like do some fun stuff like that. Uh, and then I got my headphones because um, my speakers on my laptop are really shitty. So whenever I like listen to a video or I'm editing, definitely I have to put in my headphones to do that. But I haven't actually edited in a while, so I just kind of have them out. Uh, what else? I did a little bit of room care. That was cool. I'm charging my camera, my new camera battery. I'm charging that now. Also charging my iPod because that's kind of, you know, needs some charge. I have therapy today, which will be interesting, I suppose, so that should go okay. I have quite a lot to talk about, and I should pro I really should do more when it comes to like writing down therapy things. Like lately, therapy hasn't been super um, helpful or like productive, um, and I have to like do like dear man and stuff to like advocate more for myself and like what I want to get out of sessions but also I think I have been seeing my therapist more frequently so like once a week and I'm going back now to like you know once every other week kind of thing which is fine um I don't know I was just starting to hit like I guess like I don't know I find like I had okay so my therapist June is what I call her and I have been with her technically for four years, um, but the first two years it was family therapy, and then the next two years it was like individual, and then sometimes family therapy and such too. But I, I've only really stayed with therapists in the past for like two years, and I always hit like, I just hit like this, ro this roadblock in my recovery where I get kind of stagnant, and then I just don't, like, I don't know, the, the things that we talk about in therapy just don't have as much relevance to my life and I think also though too 
because I'm so much more stable than I used to be, like definitely way back in like 2017 comparatively, like I just don't need therapy as much and you know, yes there are certain things that come up, but I'm also like my memory is not good and I don't write things down. <laughs> if I don't write it down it didn't happen, like honestly, like my, even when I'm saying things, like if you ask me to repeat what I just told you, I have very limited uh, memory of what, what that was, so bane of my existence is someone being like i say something really inspirational and someone's like can you say that again and i'm like oh shit like i don't remember what i just said but memory is not the best also i have to make appointments i forgot about that see forgetting things but um yeah i just feel like in therapy i just kind of hit after like two years i hit like a stagnant point and then i don't really get as much out of it but i think also right now i'm that's why i can go back to like once every other week because there's just not a lot happening and a lot of it too I think it buys me more time to do it myself because I don't know there's a difference of like I find there's a difference in like being told what to do and like not doing it and just taking that own initiative and then doing it myself rather than only doing it because someone else is telling me that I should do it kind of thing you know like there's a different there's a different like pride level in that and like in incentive and like initiative so so I'm actually going to talk with my mom today in therapy because um, she was very uh, emotional and just kind of like uh, when I told her I was thinking about changing therapists, going up at work and getting a different insurance and just changing a therapist entirely and she was um, pretty uh, had intensity to why I should not do that. So um, and I probably won't but I do eventually I do want to actually work more and you know change insurance out at some point um but probably not for right now so that's kind of that other stuff that's been happening um there were a couple things that happened online that were interesting and has been more of a push for me to do more no contact stuff i'm gonna do a lot more creative stuff in the future and um there's also gonna be some videos that i film and potentially edit but don't upload right away like I'm gonna wait a while before I, I'm gonna just make them for me and then just kind of if I want to go back to it I can kind of thing but I won't post it online yet so that's gonna be something I'm gonna try out but also I'm gonna do just more no context things too so I'm gonna do no no contacts with like blog posts I'm probably gonna do more blog post stuff on my blog on WordPress and I'm also just gonna do more like drawing videos and also a lot of like recovery stuff because I haven't really been doing as much recovery kind of oriented things and I would like to kind of get back on top of that and also just figure out maybe like a vision statement for my channel and the things I want to accomplish with this channel and maybe someday I'll actually get up to like 200 subscribers because I've been stay I've, I've, I've been stuck at a hundred odd subscribers for two years so if I could get it to be a little bit more that'd be great and if I ever get to a point where I think I have to change the email to which like video stuff is going to like if I get like more attention I guess in a sense then I do have a backup email that I forgot I made um, for like a while ago so I could utilize that one I just have to log in to like see if it actually works and everything but um, so that's another plan but I don't think that'll happen for a while um, and I still I have to film some of my shorts on my phone but I haven't done that yet to actually get it to be recognized as a short um, I've been kind of doing like shorts because they're like just long view like this so they're not really like a full-on short but kind of works as that I don't know um, I'm thinking of doing one, one of the things I wanted to do was describing what it, like what it's like to work at a psych hospital. I think, like, the words to describe you working at a psych hospital, I think that'd be a cool, um, like, short to do. So I'm going to try to do that as, like, vertical on my phone kind of one. Like Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man. So that's another thing I want to do. Um, I'm going to go in through... I'm gonna film going through my sketchbook soon. I have like 40 minutes before my therapy appointment, so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can in that 40 minutes. And then we're supposed to get thunderstorms, so I'm gonna probably go out to the library and um, edit and uh, do some of that. I've been actually enjoying video editing lately, like with the um, 
with the nature walk like the first day I filmed on my camera which I still I want to show you guys on my new camera what my webcam looks like because this is still a new webcam within the last year I guess and then I also on my webcam want to show you what my new camera looks like <laughs> to like do both of that because uh, I think that'd be fun and yeah what was I saying outside um even with I want to do that spread I want to do more like outdoor related activities there's actually a baking video I did back in 2020 that I really want to edit I have been thinking of it a few times honestly it was when I made flourless peanut butter chocolate chip cookies they were it was really funny there was a couple funny clips in it because I, I, I didn't know how to like get the size of the cookies so they look like giant cookies like pancakes and then I, I told my mom like I, I don't know if that does that look right and she's like no you did it wrong so then she had me fix it and stuff and it was just really funny but it because it like they were like freaking huge and then they went back to like actually look like a cookie so before I like cook them and stuff but. so I have some baking videos I want to do there's also like old festival new festival and old festival um I've gotten some books lately, I've, I've done like, you know, that little like, haul version of things. I actually got a really good price on a book, really happy about it, um, really, really cool. And I like love that book, I haven't read it, but like I love it already, I'm like, yes. So, excited about that, and I'm hoping to get more into my sketchbook, because I honestly haven't utilized this as much as I once did. I think it's honest, honestly somewhat because of some of the posts I have in this thing that I don't like and bring us, brings up kind of like, I mean I could probably talk about it in a video and everything but yeah it's just kind of like difficult so then I just like never use it so and I just don't, I haven't really been sketching or like drawing drawing in a while either so maybe that's something to get back into. Uh, what else can I talk about? I've been at work. Uh, work's been fine overall. You know, um, there's some funny things happen here and there, but, you know, some things are tense and things too, but, you know, just kind of rolling with it, and it's been good, and, um, I'm gonna be taking, not really, like, a vacation day, but I am gonna take, like, a day off, and my mom and I are gonna go out, and it's gonna be fun, I think, and I'll film it and everything, and I think that'll be really fun, we're gonna go out to, like, a little island, and such so that'd be awesome so I'm gonna hopefully have that so that'll be really cool I'll just get get out for a bit and just kind of see new things and all of that I have actually I have not written any fan fiction lately but I have been thinking about it I've been dreaming about it a few times I know I mentioned that in some video I wrote down a whole like list of like notes that I had from a, a, a dream I had and I, I want to make it into an actual story I, I think I said that in a different video at some point but I had a couple more dreams about like Loki and Tony Stark like, a couple nights ago. I I, I think it might have been Sunday because I was like, oh, I might actually write some fan fiction today. I didn't, but I should get back into that because I have I have to type up a bunch of it. But um, I have like four chapters I'm legitimately in the middle of, like four four different stories. <laughs> so it's it's just kind of weird. So that'll be good to up update and stuff. And I want to do more blog stuff. And I want to do. I keep thinking today's Wednesday. It's not. It's Tuesday. So that's kind of off but oh I want to go live I want to go live tomorrow around six o'clock EST Wednesday August 10th August 10th I almost said August 9th today is August 10th tomorrow is August 10th I want to try to go live so I'm gonna that'd be fun I also am thinking about making some more bracelets um some more more of these guys beaded bracelets that'd be fun um yeah, I just want to do more. I want to do more on my channel and more, um, just like fun stuff and also like recovery stuff and like really talking about recovery and, um, you know, how things are going and even support stands would be great. Like I should really bring back support stands. I would love to do, um, reaction videos, like looking back. I started that on my harm OCD video year, a couple of years ago to film a reaction of it but I have to still the the file is like 50 minutes long so I just avoid it um but that might be something that I work on like doing like reaction videos me reacting today to old videos of mine I thought that'd be interesting 
Also, I'm going to, when I do more creative stuff on my blog and uh, like poems, I started writing a poem you know, like a couple, like a week ago, um, but like doing more poems or short stories and just sharing that with you guys, like reading that out loud. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I, when I go live, I will read some of my old um, stories and stuff. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. So that's that and any final thoughts okay let me think final thoughts i've noticed when i had that lapse last week where i was more not living with intention i noticed i was pulling and picking more so i wonder if because I definitely get like anxious when I'm wasting my time or like if I'm watching something that's like an angry person I get like anxious about it so I wonder if there is a a thread between a link between me being more anxious and like picking and pulling one when I'm procrastinating or avoiding something or you know going down YouTube rabbit holes or watching a bunch of Netflix and just wasting my time so that's something that I'm interested to see how that plays out. Also, I notice if I go on my phone in the morning, if I'm on my phone in the morning, like when I have breakfast, which is pretty much at like 11 to 1 o'clock, like 11 a.m. to like 1 p.m., but um, if I go on my phone and I'm on like YouTube and I go back up to my room and I lay in my bed, I will fall asleep and that tends to like, you know, mess up some of the day as well. So I just have to be a little bit more conscious. I just want to have more intention in the sense that like, I'm more aware of like, I'm making this choice to either waste my time or not waste my time and see how that kind of plays out. Like it's definitely something, you know, again, like I thought of that I didn't realize until last week when it happened was, what do I do when I have to adapt? When I do start wasting my time, how do I transfer or transition back into being more intentional and being more mindful and being more, on in a sense than just off like just endlessly watching things forever in a sense because i think there is there is times where i can do that and that's fine like it's fine to rest and it's fine to have like sleep days and things like that like that's fine it's just that i don't want to do it all the time because then i don't you know enjoy my time as much and then i kind of have regrets and then i have like anxiety and i have distress and then i have all these things i have to do like this book like honestly working on this book i haven't done i've been so anxious about reviewing it and like actually finishing it that i haven't actually finished it and i've had it for way longer than i should and it's just a mess but i'm just working on it and that's what the um this thing's gonna be about i'm gonna put this up on my wall I put up a couple other art things. I'm gonna maybe put this on my whiteboard over there. So that might be some place I put it. Um, I might take a few things out and it's just gonna be in front of me so that I can kind of see it. I should probably stop using my bed as much of a desk as I do, but um, baby steps. <laughs> like we're not, we're not all the way there. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna go for now because this is long enough for a video and covered a lot of ground, I think. And um, yeah, I just I just want to keep improving. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday, so I have more time off in a sense. It's my biggest free day, so I want to work on maybe watching a couple, watching or reading a couple articles about um, like storytelling and videos and like how to kind of edit certain things or just kind of like find that like way of telling a story through video and what that process is like and also to like just find what it is that i do in these videos like what are these videos like topic wise and then how can i trim them down or make them better or or whatever it might be so it's a process, but anywho, I'm gonna go. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Really, that's really awesome. And um, feel free to comment down below. Like I do respond better than I used to. <laughs> better than I used to. So feel free to comment things if you have ideas as as what to what I should do more videos on or you have requests or questions or any of that stuff feel free to leave it down below if there's like little tips or tricks you know about to do shorts to make them more 
uh, popular, I suppose. Um, feel free to leave that as well. And if you are currently reading a book or you are wanting to read a book, what book are you reading and how is it going? I'm currently reading... Shit, it's in my bag. I'm reading Shut Your Eyes Tight by John Verdon. Um, I haven't like fully read it in like a, like a week or so, but it's a really good book. I really enjoy it. It's like 509 pages and I'm just on like 100 pages or so. Uh, I think once I get to 121, I'll have finished the chapter I'm currently on, which I think is chapter 18. But it's really good, I really like it. And um, that, and then I'm also reading this as like a non-fiction book. Um, but more on this later, uh, probably in, in the later evening, I'll film something about that, or tomorrow, or whatever. And as for work days, I'm also working Thursday evening and then Saturday, Sunday. So that I'll be offline those days. Anywho, as always, stay safe, take care, be well, much love and light to you, and I will see you when I see you. Bye. I can see a lighthouse through the smoke, everything is lost, I know.